Yo, what is up everybody? I am Mommy Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, mother- <laughs> Now, let's begin! <laughs> what I love about cosplaying Junko, that I can literally take dirt care of this wig and it'll still look good. But yes, this wig is very, very heavy. Like TBH, not really though. Like right now it feels okay. But I know if I like wore this to a con, 20 minutes in, I'm Dead. Yo, what is up everybody? I am Junko Enoshima, ultimate fashionista. Welcome to my channel if you are new here, or welcome back to my channel. Yeah! Mother Freaker! As you see by the title, and the thumbnail, and my ridiculous attire, it is time for the Danganronpa Cafe video. I'm sorry, this took way too long. But Junko Enoshima is taking over this cafe, bitch! So for this cafe video, we will be focusing on Danganronpa 1, Trigger Happy Havoc. And this video is kind of a cluster of different Danganronpa cafes, because when I was researching it, there were so many. As well as some of my own recipes, because... Some of them be freaking boring. And what I'm gonna start incorporating now because homegirl's kinda getting bored of drinks is to incorporate food in the video. So I hope you enjoy. Also, I bought this crown for Junko and it doesn't freaking fit. I have a period. And first drink we got is for our protagonist boy, Makoto Naegi. And for his drink, you will need green apple syrup, black tea, and Sprite. And to start off Makoto's drink, get your green apple syrup, pour it into the glass, fill your cup with ice, pour in your Sprite, about half a cup, and with about half a cup, fill your cup with the black tea. And then boom, Makoto's drink is done. It's a pretty simple drink. The color scheme though matches our boy very, very well. Next drink we got is for Celestial Ludenberg. And for her drink, you will need royal milk tea and an edible rose. First, what you want to do is get your royal milk tea. I got these at my local Japanese market. They come in packets that you can either mix with milk or water, or they come in already pre-made cans. Pour it in your cup, and I decided to put whipped cream on top because if I wanted the rose to show, it was gonna sink. So put whipped cream on top and lay your edible rose on top and boom. Beautiful Celestial's drink is done. I'm sorry if I just look ridiculous. I kinda wanted to be festive and then I was in a low-key missing cosplay spiral, so excuse me. And next we are bringing our first food item into the drink video world. Our first dessert for the menu is Chihiro Fujisaki's Mystery Parfait. And for the parfait you will need vanilla ice cream, green tea ice cream, vanilla yogurt, blueberries, chocolate syrup, and you don't have to do this part. I did this just because I wanted to match the image in the menu. So I printed up this adorable picture of Chihiro, taped two toothpicks on the back of them so we could stuck in the parfait. First, you want to get your parfait glass put in about uh, halfway, depending on if you like yogurt. I personally don't care for yogurt. And for some cool design, add some chocolate syrup, more vanilla yogurt or ice cream. Get one scoop of vanilla ice cream and then one scoop of green tea ice cream. This was very difficult to do because they were like melting as I was trying to like make it pretty. Put on some freaking blueberries on top and then stick your adorable picture in. Boom! Chihiro's mystery parfait is done. Beautiful, if I do say so myself. Next food item is for our ultimate swimmer, Aoi Asahina. And for her treat, all you'll need is some fresh donuts, whipped cream, and strawberries. And what I did for this is I freaking went to Target just to buy a freaking five dollar freaking aesthetically pleasing plate. Get your donuts. I freaking ran to my Krispy Kremes. That was the first time I actually went to Krispy Kreme donuts. It was actually pretty yummy, but I don't eat donuts that much. Get some delicious yummy donuts and put that shit on a plate. Add some whipped cream and strawberries to make it fancy. I don't have a clipboard. I could literally feel pulling my 
face this way and it's not comfortable at all. Also apologies for no titty. I didn't feel like freaking putting on three bras and two socks in my boobs. No thank you, not today. And next drink is for Kyoko Kigiri. And for her drink you will need grape syrup and Kaurubisu Kalpiko. All you wanna do is get your glass, add some grape soda, throw some ice in there, and then fill up the rest with Kalpiko. I couldn't get the right color purple, but this was the best I could do in terms of purple syrup. Next drink we got is for our ultimate moral compass, and that is Kyotoka Ishimaru. And for his drink, you will need Kalpiko, strawberry syrup, strawberries, and cherries. Get a little bowl, cut up some strawberries, add some strawberry syrup, and smash it all up to make like a puree, some sort of like strawberry jelly. And then you're just gonna dunk it in the bottom. Fill your cup with ice, fill it up with Kalpiko, and top it off with whipped cream and a cherry on top. And boom, done. Next drink we got is for our ultimate pop sensation, Sayaka Maizono. And for her drink, you will need rose syrup, black tea, tapioca balls or pearls, and an edible rose. And for my lactate, freaking lactose sensitive people, milk, lactate, soy milk, whatever your alternative, because we are making a milk tea, bitch. First, you wanna do like a half and half ratio, half cup of black tea, half cup of your lactate, soy milk, whatever you like to use, about a tablespoon, or two of your rose syrup. Mix it all together until it is pink. Get your tapioca balls. I just smuggled these from my nearest boba shop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't feel like freaking going to the store to buy them. I did not. And put as many balls as you like to have in your mouth in the cup. <laughs> I am bad. <laughs> Pour your milk tea in the glass. Put some whipped cream on top and then sprinkle your edible rose petals. I mean, these aren't really edible. I mean, they're edible. Like, you won't die if you eat them, but like, they're not really yummy. <laughs> they're kind of, they're like sour, so I wouldn't recommend actually eating them. Freaking pretty decoration shit, yeah, go for it. But they're not, they're not yummy. And I had a freaking perfect blue purpley straw for our idol. And boom, your rose milk tea boba is done. Yes, I know this one looks very stupid, but I don't know what to do. Yo, I'm mad salt right now. Look at this. Ugh. For our ultimate affluent prodigy, we got literally my literal daddy. Byakuya Tokami. I don't know what to do with this. This just looks dumb. But for Byakuya Togami's drink, all you will need is coffee and edible gold. And whatever freaking shit you use for coffee. So for my coffee recipe, I use coffee, a cup of friggin' soy milk, almond milk, cause I don't drink, I don't drink dairy, chocolate syrup shit. When I decided to like try to be fancy with the freaking chocolate syrup, it did not work that well. And next, add your edible gold sheets. Now, I'm gonna tell you, cause that's what the cafe said, but I would not go and waste eight, seven dollars on Amazon for this, cause it's edible. All that edible means to me is that you won't die if you eat it, but you want me to, but you like, you want me to keep it a hundred, you want me to keep it real with you? It tastes like that taste when you have like pennies in your mouth. You can't chew it, cause as soon as you put it on your tongue, it like dissolves, but you get that aftertaste of just like pure pennies. And why do I know this? Cause once upon a time, I was a stupid kid and ate, not ate pennies, but like I would put coins in my mouth. I was stupid and then my mom would be like, <laughs> That, like no <laughs> my mom would be like no do not do that so if you don't want to taste pennies i wouldn't put it on it but yeah add the gold flakes if you want and then you got mr glasses assholes drink now my wig isn't as fluffy because the stupid other pigtails like broke on me like just now next drink we got is for our ultimate writer Toko Fukawa. For Toko's drink, you will need Coca-Cola soda, ramune, or grape soda. I was so fucking mad because as soon as I poured the grape soda, it wasn't even purple, and I was so mad, so I just put freaking grape syrup in it because I was freaking PO'd. Pop rocks and cherries. First thing you want to do for Toko's drink, fill it up a little more than halfway with ice. Pour about half of the glass with Coca-Cola. Fill the rest of your cup with ice. Get your grape soda or ramune grape syrup with freaking grape syrup because freaking 
green. Why is it not purple? Mix up your concoction and pour it in the glass. And next to release the genocide jack, you want to get a small shot glass, put in some cherry syrup with some cherries, and then flip that bad boy onto the top of the glass, releasing all of the psychotic. That is genocide jack. Complete that with some pop rocks. And then it's like the free <laughs> And next for <laughs> I would but I'm not fucking gonna. Can I just do this? Ah, for Jesus drink, I can't do this. Our last drink is for my main hoe, the literal queen of everything, our ultimate fashionista, Junko Enoshima. And I wasn't sure whether to do like cotton candy or bubblegum for her drink, but then a lot of y'all were freaking commenting Junko back in the day, AMV bubblegum bitch, are you for real? And I was like, you know what, y'all right. And cotton candy, I don't know, it kind of vibes with Junko, so I was like, okay, why not both? So for Junko's drink, you will need cotton candy, milk of your choice, bubblegum, pink candy melts, and a red bow fondant. I love how the bow turned out. Like, this is so cute. I was so happy. And then a black and white straw. Oh, and bubblegum ice cream. I almost forgot bubblegum ice cream. First, what you want to do is melt some pink candy melts. And this is just going to be a garnish for the glass. I don't even know if garnish is the right word. Get your cup and just rim the glass with your pink chocolate. Next, grab your blender, because this is going to be a bubblegum milkshake. I wanted more bubblegum flavor, so I decided to go buy some actual bubblegum, cut them up into small pieces, microwave them, and a little bit of water so it extracts the bubblegum flavor. Be careful, though, because one, this was hot as shit, and it took so long for this to come off my dishes. It was not okay. <laughs> Get your bubblegum ice cream, put in a couple scoops into your blender. See, the freaking bubblegum extract literally looks like Tanganronpa blood. <laughs> Pour your bubblegum extract extract into the blender with or without the bubble gum whatever you choose to do it's sticky as shit let me warn you add some milk some ice and don't be afraid to throw in some pink cotton candy into the mix as well and then blend that shit up Pour your milkshake into your glass and then place your black and white straw. Get your pink cotton candy. At first I was trying to make like Junko pigtails with the cotton candy and it like did not work. It did not work at all. So I just put the cotton candy on top into the glass and then complete the drink with your red fondant bow. And then boom, you got Junko's cotton candy pink bubble gum bitch milkshake. I know, I know a lot of y'all's hearts must have been broken that Komada baby was not in this, but I promise you, baby's gonna be in the second one. So make sure you comment which characters you want to see in the Danganronpa 2 drink video. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye! Short hair Junko though is a look.